What happened to the thumbnail? I don't know, what happened to the thumbnail? Right, hopefully people can see me and hear the background. Um, I can see me and hear the music or the sound. Just move my water closer. Uh, sorry for being a couple of minutes late starting. Just trying to sort some things out. So this is session four. You can hear and see me. That's good. This session four, or part four, um, Road to the Aquarium. So we're heading to the aquarium now. Hopefully everyone's doing okay. Yeah, I haven't eaten a whole banoffee pie. Not today. Right, once this starts, I can work out how my uh, sound is, whether the what the sound levels like. I've been video editing, so uh, I don't know how the sound will be. <sighs> yeah, that sounds okay. Dry in this city. I'm normal. Uh, are we going down? Oh yes, we're with Jesse, aren't we? He's going to have to give me a... Come on, help me a leg up here. I've got to try and remember. Okay, okay then I'm Go giving him it. the leg up. <coughs> Abby's okay? Okay. Now, what did you the buttons? Buttons. They were hoping to find Running. Tommy at the aquarium. I didn't tell her you knew. That's what you're. I wasn't. Hopefully, Abby's normal. Are we going down here? This aquarium a wolf base? I don't think so. Nora said Abby's hiding out there. You get her to tell you why they did it. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> Joel had uh, falling out with some fireflies. Hmm. No, former fireflies. Shit, locked. Think we can cut through that convention center? Let's try it. What are the chances of some uh, zombies knocking around here? I see a light through here. Good old spaghetti Cams. I'm just doing my search. Yeah, it is quite good. Uh, the whole sort of wet hair thing, wet hair, wet clothes, and the like. She was just shaking her arms off them while running. You ever worry they're going to come back to Jackson after us? No, I was trying to talk to him. Where's he gone? Yeah. What do you mean? I mean, we're going through a lot of their people in their city. Because of what they did. Didn't Abby and her friends come to Jackson because of something Joel did? Exactly. This place isn't like Jackson. I mean, Joel and Tommy helped Abby when she got attacked. These people are trying to kill everyone around them. I mean, they shot you on sight, didn't they? Yeah. But he does obviously have a point. Only a couple days. When we first got here, she fucked up a bunch of wolves. You've been impressed. P. 
pills. Yeah, he obviously has a point that um, why wouldn't they come back after uh, us? Is it weird? No, can't get anything else. Slide down. Not running into any, uh, yeah. Hey, give me a hand. Why didn't she tell me about him? the pregnancy? Listen, I, I, I'm sure she'll tell you about it. When... Who did you hear from? The last time. It won't be like last time. Right. Uh... Closer. Perhaps stay down? Don't act like there's a choice, man. Think of what'll happen if we succeed. No. Oh, well, let's just go for it. Come on. Sorry. I was hoping to go through quietly. Okay, someone died slowly there. Not so much for quiet sneaking. Wolves, man. So trigger happy. Well, uh, you say yeah, that. I think this fucked up we might have been a little bit trigger happy there as well. Seraphines or something. Seraphites. Scars is all I've heard them called. You run into any? You're lucky. Hello, Daniel. Good to see you here. Uh, just accidentally ended up getting into a bit of a gunfight there. Mm, yeah, 
definitely didn't mean to. Carrying on the road. So. What's up with all these posters? It's a bunch of comics. Wait, <laughs> what's happening here? We were born in the wrong time, man. I've only ever been to one Comic Con, and that was to present about Jedi stuff. I haven't been to any others. It's very, very busy. She'll tell me when... Once things are wrapped up here. I guess at some point it'll get pretty hard to hide it. Do you know if she's going to keep it? I don't. I like all the rain <laughs> and the water. Look at this mess. Aquarium. You're watching at one and a half speed. Really You're nice going to see lots of uh, shooting and running so around. Tommy has the same info. I've got um, Damn it. a bit of video footage of it, of me doing a Jedi mind thing with everyone. Uh, do we just jump and swim? He's looking down there. I'll find <gasps> out. Yep. Well, I'm down there now, anyway. Probably got a bag full of water now. Okay. Good question. Working on it. Probably back in the water. No, nope. this makes more sense. Oops. Infected. Who? Let's see. Oh, I can make some of them. Definitely make one of them. Or two of them. And... <laughs> Definitely throw one. So attracted them. Oh, 
Oh, there's a big bad one somewhere. Bet someone's going to sneak around here. Jesse suddenly got in my way. I don't hear anything. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that was lucky. I am live again, always live uh, on a Wednesday on here. How do I get up there? You've got something. Oh, I hear more. We got more! Yeah, that's what I just said. Okay, now that's it. And I quite like the sharp, choppy thing. Like a dead end. Get one of them. Yeah. And his paper. I think you're right. So whatever sorry ourselves finds me, I can barely keep my hand steady. <clears throat> but everyone on base needs to know. I got ambushed on my way to relieve Misha at the monorail. Monorail. Uh, monorail lookout. One of the scars, I'd swear he looked just like our boy Grey. Fuck, I'm so lightheaded. Someone please put a bullet in that fucking snake's face for me. And tell Mish I'm sorry. I tried to hustle. Jensen. Right, uh, where did you go? And where are we going now? This way somewhere? <coughs> Like banging. You mean we came all the way down here and didn't have to? Go, Team Jackson. Fuck these motherfuckers. Couldn't have said it better. Never get a high five out of me. Really understand the whole weird slapping your hand against someone's hand thing. This way. Yeah, this way. Uh, After you. I assume we're jumping in and swimming under. <gasps> yep, that is the case. Is that just going to be sealed? Is there anything else down here? Uh, no, no, I prefer what I had. Up there. Up here, maybe? Ah, oh, over there. You're cleverer than me. Oh, 
Sorry, I was just going ahead of you. Let's see. Bookstore. I would have come, you know, if you told me you were leaving. I just... I didn't think you'd be okay with all this. I looked up to Joel. What happened to him was messed up. Maybe. I would have come. Are we going down? Is that the direction? Joel liked you a lot, too, you know? He used to think I had a crush on you. <laughs> really? I mean, you're handsome and whatever, but I'm not into your type. What, Asians? <laughs> yeah, that's obviously what I meant. <laughs> uh, I hear frogs. Real isn't how you are made, said the skin horse. It's a thing that happens to you. When a child loves you for a long, long time, not just to play with, but really loves you, then you become real. Does it hurt? asked the rabbit. Sometimes, said the skin horse, for he was always truthful. When you're real, you don't mind being hurt. I know you're upset. What if we talk like this for a bit? Would that help? Okay. I didn't mean to grab you like that. I hope I didn't hurt you. Even mummies are scared sometimes. I'm okay. I'm really scared too. I get how angry you are. I miss him too. But you can't scream like that. I know. I love you so very much. I won't let anything happen to you. I love you too. Oh. down here. What can I make? One of them, that's always good. Some of them, one of them. Uh, I'll do for now. Right, how to get over there. He's already up here. I think it goes back years. Wonder how it all started. Picking up a lot of bits and pieces. Wow. This place is fucked. Blood's still wet. Let's get back to the street. Yeah. Probably going to encounter something. Got him. Sweep the area for survivors. Oh, they got dogs. Good job, boy. 
Uh, let's see. Is this an explosive one that I'm going to be using? I don't want to do that. How do I change this? Oh dear, wrong button. Bit of an error there. What is it, boy? You smell something? Sorry. Didn't mean to uh, explode the dog. Sorry. I was trying to figure out how to change the um, ammo. Saw them heading towards the grass! Use the wrong uh, arrow there. Over there. Yeah. Give me a minute. Let's uh, see. Person there. Is there anyone else? <laughs> Can I see from under here? Yeah, it was a very lucky shot, I think. Oh, that's definitely too far away. Keep crouched though. hitting the uh, wood. That's a lot of wasted that arrows. Last one. Yeah. This place makes me appreciate Jackson, man. Me too. Right, let's see. Craft that.
do that. Anyone want some material? It's probably a bit damp. It's probably had decades open to the elements. there either. Raining here as well. Let's hope I don't run into any trip lines or anything. Excuse me. Where now? Will it be under something? Hopefully. Yep. It would probably be interesting to try and keep a bit of a count of how many people you end up killing in this game. Up and over. I think Abby picked the aquarium on purpose because it's so damn hard to get to. Hmm. Maybe. This new gun. All right. Just the holster. the aquarium. <sighs> Jesus. How the hell are we crossing this? We could use that road. It's pretty fucking far. Uh, I don't think the game tallies your kills. Or we use that. Woohoo. Yeah. Let's get the boat. That's better. Still got her um, badge on her back. You can see it when she's running. The uh, space shuttle one. Let's try through here. So what's the plan? We take these guys out and steal their boat? Yep. Definitely taking their boat. It's up to them if they want to get in our way. Hopefully it's a small crew.
nothing in there. Nope. Down we go. This is right. You don't say. Pick some bits up. No, I don't know when I last ate frozen yogurt. If ever. It's not ice cream. You have to have a lot of faith in this game. Because in reality, what are the chances that you guarantee that that was going to come out safely? Sniper sighted at the marina. Like... Take the land bridge to the marina. The rest of you, we hold here and wait for orders. Wait here while our guys are being sniped? We have our orders. <gasps> We'll have more than enough people to take care of one sniper. You are? No, don't take the... Yeah, it's better. You have the rope. Don't turn round. Nothing to see here. No sound of a wet person climbing some rope. Somehow managing to have enough grip. Get a change of clothes quickly, maybe. Come on, come on. I want to try and do something I've never done before. Will it let me? No. Oh. We can get to the marina through here. No, we're taking the boat. You heard them right, they're talking about Tommy. We don't know that. Who else is it going to be? If it is him, he'll be gone by the time we get there. Abby is where he'll be headed, so if we just what fall... What he's in trouble? He can take care of himself. Jesus Christ. The best way to help Tommy is to go after Abby. Your computer doesn't like you today. You do this, I'm not saying Your computer saying says no. Way. I really hope you make it. I make it too. Go on, let me take control. Where should I put in? Copy. I want the boat. This way. It's the transmitter! Drop her! Oh, oh. I was hoping I could stab him. Where did she go? Search the entire mall. Someone else was seeing me. Where are you? Oh, that way. They're going to see me when I pop up. So let's use this. 
because that's quite good for close shots. Yeah, I was hoping that I'd be able to get close and kind of stab him and drag him in. Oh, was it an eye shot nearly? Bow down! Right here! Come on, you know you want to come and get me. Keep her in check! That helps. Sorry. I apologise. I didn't want to cause that kind of harm. That's not a nice way to go. Did that get you? No. Second one might have done. This time I've not been very good at the whole sneaking thing. At least I haven't ended up shooting mannequins accidentally. Oh, I don't think I've had to kill a horse. Uh, it's a few people. If we don't make it to the scars, because the scars came to us. Whoa, hey, stop that shit right now. Might be one of those guys. Ah, right there! Sorry, I know that's not quiet. Yeah, there seems to be a thing about horses dying in this game. Ah, oh, that's that one out. Let's go for a silenced gun. Fortunately, that was still sitting there. Teddy! Bad. Find another angle. <laughs> <laughs> 
Come on. Are they literally just, yeah, pretty much hiding around here? Nice! Subtle. Right. Boat. Yeah, I definitely don't think it has. Um. There's the boat. Anything else I need? Have a little bit of life and some ammo. I think the thing is I'm using a lot of kind of shotgun where as long as I'm close the shotgun's kind of almost guaranteed with a human to wipe them out. Okay, which way? Not that way. That way. Must be this way. Where am here I come? Just gotta try and ride the rapids. Ice cream. No, not that way. Through there then. Please go through. Yeah, what are the chances? Around there, there, down here. Uh, and... Dismount. You'd listen mode to locate the boat. No. See you later. Thank you for popping in. Oh, another door. We'll get to the dead body in a second. What I know. They're former fireflies from the hospital. It makes sense. It's what my gut said all along. WLF took a bunch of them in after they disbanded. They travelled to Jackson specifically to torture Joel. Killing him wasn't enough. Abby is hiding out at the aquarium. What I don't know, why is Abby hiding out? Does it matter? Where are the rest of them? Do they matter if I get Abby? No. Where's Tommy? Is he still alive? He has to be. Should I tell Dina and Jesse about this? No. They can't know what Joel did. They won't understand. Do I understand? Abby, I begged you to stop. You bought this on yourself. I uh, read that. Let's head over to this person here.
bit of thunder. Beth, if you're reading this, then I'm toast. I hope it wasn't those scar fuckers, but some blades of glory. Bigger hope is you remember where we hid the stash. Code is 701264. It's not much, but it's all I have. I want you to take it. Be well. Cool, I like a good thunderstorm. Don't know what I'm going to need this for, but... Whoops. Ah, sir. Uh, no. Stand. Crouch over here. Okay. Where's Have you going? caught up yet? Well, that's got me to here. Let's uh, actually check what it was again. Wasn't it something like 7012 something or other? Sixty-four. He was right when he said he didn't have a lot. There's probably more lying around outside of it. Okay, I've got to get back out of here now. Ah, right. There's the boat. Down we go. This will be fun. Obviously, apart from that, you know that you're probably going to get shot at. Kidding me? around the scenery for anyone who might attack me. Right, there's the uh, aquarium. Damn it. That's all lit up. Trying to ignore you. Trying to 
try not to get into a fight. If I can help it. Maybe we can stop for a game or two while we're in here. Fright nights. Up the stairs. <laughs> okay. Uh, have you made it to the aquarium yet, or just to, like, just after this bit, or after what I know happens in just a minute? God damn. Mm, mine's okay. Yeah, when I um, fir oh. when I first played through this, there was someone I was watching Shit. play it at the same time, and because uh, I wanted to see what someone else, because obviously you potentially miss bits while playing. Um, no, I was trying to slap it. Why can't I remember the button to hit it? <gasps> Um, so you often miss bits like for example when I first played through I missed the uh, going to the music venue and playing guitar but so I was watching someone play it but I was trying to watch them play it after I had gone past where they were going to play to so I kept having to try and play really quickly So that I wouldn't um, spoil it for myself. Yep, yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Come on, 
that was lucky. Okay. Back to that damn Ferris wheel. I remember, so that was another, when I first played this, I didn't have any Molotov cocktails. And so definitely didn't do as good as that. Uh, you don't have a choice. They automatically, uh, she automatically keeps the um, uh, flyer. No idea why. There's a few things that get picked up through the game that I think, why are you keeping that? It's not like it means anything to you. No, I think some things they just pick up. Maybe it's just one of those things when you're in a world where you're constantly having to scavenge. open the thing. Okay. That would help. Grab hold of it. It's getting a bit rough in this uh, storm coming in. Are you caught up yet? Go. Come on, over you go. Almost there. You can do it. It's like playing Wave Race all over again. Come on, keep control. Don't crash it. Go out into the open sea. What could possibly go wrong? No. Oh, no, 
didn't get under it that time. Now, where am I going to get out? I like aquariums. Obviously I'm not a fan of things being locked up, but I like seeing different animals. Up this way, maybe? Nope, not that way. Jellyfish. That's where I came in. Must be this way. Uh, maybe it's through there. No? That way? Yep. Shame it's not uh, full still. Although I wouldn't be able to climb through it like this if it was. No. Sorry for knocking over the wet floor sign. Uh, I came from up there, down there. I don't want to end up going some direction and then missing something.
cool. Uh, I don't think I can break through that window, can I? Yes, I'm aware it's locked. Gotta be another way. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Up there? Maybe? No? down that way. Anywhere to crawl through or something to climb on. Because I don't think... I'll try anyway. I don't think I can smash these windows, can I? I feel like I'd probably try and crawl through. But... Yeah, hopefully Jesse is doing okay. Way to go then. Ah, it's going to say there must be some way through. I suspect it would probably be a tube. As long as there's nothing going to jump out at me in here. Must be over around here. Whoops. Go smashing things. No, oh, that's all you broke.
looks. Right, I was going to quickly look around this room first. Let's walk through here. People don't come back from that island. What time does Abby risk her life for you? She chose this. I'm not fucking going there. Then don't! Go back. Fuck you. Hands up. Where's Abby? You're that girl from Jackson. Tell me where she went. How do we know you won't kill us? You give her what she wants and we're dead. You guys can survive this. I just need her. Bullshit. You. Come here. Fucking get over here! to where she is on this map. And then you... You better fucking match up. What are you doing? She's probably dead anyway. It is not worth it. Stop! We can talk Back about it. Back the fuck up! Point to where she is. Fucking Christ! <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. It's all right. I'm sure they must be able to find something better to sleep on that's a, just a little bit longer.
trying to find my way out of here. Where is it? Oh, through here. Nah, by the time we get there, this whole area will be full. Where are you going? Yeah, I'd happily sleep on hard ground. What are you guys doing up? Couldn't sleep. Come take a look at this. Thought is to head home via Ellensburg. We're in Fall City by tomorrow. We're doing good. Hey. They got what they deserved. But she gets to live. Yeah. Is that okay? It has to be. Hmm. I'm really not looking forward to going through Idaho again. What you should be worried about is what Maria's going to do to you when we get home. We've been through worse. However, when I was passing through some ritzy section of town, I come across this necklace. It sparkles a lot. I think it's real gold. You think it's real gold? It's real gold. Let's see it. I know what gold looks like. If it's legit, can we say it's from all of us? Ha. Ah. Find your own damn bribes. How you doing? Fine. Ellie? Fine. Thanks for coming back for me. My friend's problems are my problems. <laughs> You're such a sap. All right, how about uh, my friends can't get out of their own damn way. It's better. Shoot this one too. Don't you do it, Ellie. Get out of here. Stand up now. Don't you fucking dare. Shut the fuck up. Oh. All right. Stop. Stop. Toss your weapon. Toss your weapon. Fuck. No. No. I know why you killed Joel. He did what he did to save me. There is no cure because of me. I am the one that you want. Just let him go. You killed my friends. We let you both live. And you wasted it. We're halfway through the game. Four years earlier. Dad! I like this environment. I like these trees. doing this Dad Where are you? We are now playing as Abby. 
four years ago. Zoo Lights Festival. See, everyone has a habit of just picking things up and keeping them. So does me. I get through here. Maybe I can get onto the roof. There. Well, not quite. Maybe I can reach. You there, sweetheart. So do you. Where? Right there. Oh. You know, every time you run off like this, they give me shit about it. Come on. Believe it or not, they actually care about your safety. These woods are safe. Dad. Abs. She's been hanging out right on the other side of those trees. And? She's due any day now. We'll just check on her, and then, and then we'll head back. I promise. Let's just make it quick. See? I've got my little girl to keep me safe. How'd you know I was here? Owen ratted me out, didn't he? He did his job. How'd you get him to talk? Uh, I asked. Hey, look what I found. 1978. Don't have that one in my collection. You can keep it. If you promise not to pull anything like this again. <laughs> you got yourself a deal. Why don't I believe you? No reason I could think of. Come on. Let's keep looking. Dad. Relax. You'll be back with Owen before you know it. Wait, what? Nothing. Just noticed you two have been hanging out a lot. More so than usual. Oh, God. This is one oh, of the things know. that people got very, very Your angry dad, about with this game. I see things. Like the way you both try really, really hard not to look at each other when you're around me. You get all serious. It's very cute. I can't handle this. And he makes you laugh. <laughs> That's because he's such an idiot. I just like how he's extra nice to me now. Abs, look. Fresh tracks. Wait, this is just your sneaky way of giving me a tracking lesson, isn't it? I would never. Is it working? Well, I mean, I found you. Yeah, but you cheated. You do what you need to do to get it done. Wow. You actually listen. You have your moments of wisdom.
See anything else? Not they got yet. very, very angry. Keep that looking. You end up playing as the person who killed Joel. The um, uh, voice actress got a lot of grief about it. Uh, Dad, I found something. She already gave birth. Ew. And look, it's a trapped. Dad? It's her. Ooh. Let's go. This doesn't sound good. Do realize we were just down this way. Ask. Come on. Dad, wait. What if they're infected around? This area is clear. You know they roam. You brought your gun, right? Of course. Then I'm not worried. Oh, shit. Abs. What? Yeah, I think they probably are. We gotta cut her loose. It's okay, Cobb. Don't worry. I'm not gonna hurt you. It's okay. Damn it. It's really in there. Uh, abs, come here. here. I'm gonna hold her. Okay. Calm down, calm down. Over here, Owen! What? Hey, get over here and help me hold her. We need you back up. At Owen! The... Hold her! Come on! Uh, All right. You got her tight? Uh, yeah. All right. Get in there, Abs. Steady. <laughs> Fuck. Everybody's looking for you. We got it. Hey, wait. Dad. What's going on? Come on. We did good back there. Doc. Baby. That girl showed up. What girl? The one Marlene keeps talking about. They found her in the tunnels. She has an old bite mark on her arm. No signs of infection. <laughs> that can't be. They're already running tests on her, but you gotta get down there. Dad. Come on. intertwined with the brain. There's no other option. There has to be some other way. There's no way to remove the specimen without destroying the host. The host? She's a child, not some petri dish. You think I don't... I'm aware of the situation. And you're okay with killing her? No, I'm okay with developing a vaccine that'll help save millions of lives. How many fireflies have died for less? That was their choice. Are you asking me? Are you telling me this is how it's gonna be? I am begging you to buy in. And what if this was Abby? Look, everything that we've been fighting for, all the sacrifices, all of the horrific, all of that is justified with this one act. If this was your daughter, what would you do? Abby. I'll buy you some dinner. Thank you, sweetheart. Look, Marlene. Do it. Thank you. I'm gonna go tell Joel. 
Why? He traveled across the country with her. He has a right to know. Good luck with your surgery. You're doing the right thing. If it was me, I'd want you to do the surgery. The thing is, we know that Ellie would want the same, that she would want the surgery. Still in the fucking building? Yeah. Abby. No! Abby, don't look. Dad! Dad! No! No! Get up! Please stop! Please don't shoot! Joel, please get up! No, no, no. We're here for him. That's it. It's too risky to leave them alive. Too fucking bad. He's right. We can't have loose ends. We killed them. We're no better than he was. They didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, look at my face. Fuck your face. You should have been guarding the upstairs like I told you to. Move! Back up. Calm down. Or what? Back the fuck up! Calm down! Now then! You gonna shoot me? Stop! We're done. Seattle, day one. Abby. <gasps> oh. Easy. You okay, Abs? Yeah, I just... What's up? Been searching everywhere for you. <gasps> You're being called up. Isaac wants us at the front. What? Are you serious? I'm afraid so. <sighs> we should hustle. We're leaving now? <laughs> yes. I'm on us. Okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Fuck my neck. <clears throat> hey, thanks for giving me the room last night. Yeah, it, who was it this time? That cook chick? Nah, the weather chick. She's down from the mountain. She's got the gym oh, to work out in. Scientist. Nice. Obviously, uh, she's been where excited, Ellie cur currently is. Knock my ear off about some storm. She spent four years working it, out, though? training, oh, making herself absolutely. tough enough to take on Joel, I happy now. and hunting you for should. him. You're never gonna do better than her. To get revenge, obviously for. The death of her dad. And now Ellie's obviously uh, 
hunting Abby to get revenge for the death of Joel. Everybody take your Hello, seats. Miss Potts. Hello, Annie. <laughs> Her too. Urgent. <laughs> wow. I gotta talk to my dad for a second. Grab us some food? Yeah, on it. Get me something on picante. You get what you get. That's often my attitude. You didn't want to talk to me when I was over here a second ago. What? Oh, shit, Jordan. I didn't see you there. You coming with us to the Saravina? Uh, Manny and I just got called up to the FOB. What are you doing at the Saravina? Hotel and the school are getting evacuated. We're grabbing supplies and bringing everyone back to the base. Seriously? Can you fucking believe after everything we're falling back? You don't know that's what it is. Uh, at least Leah might be home from the TV station sooner. Well, there's that, yeah. Miss run. May your survival be long. And may your death be swift. At least you get to now hear the other side of every, all the events we've just seen. Come on. Let it out. Like we know he ends up at the Saravina and it doesn't go well for him. Eventually. How often do you have to shop in the night? And Leah. What are they serving today? Burritos. Again. Okay. Abby, what are you doing? Hey, tenemos prisa, dame tres burritos. Hey, man, there's a line. Ready? What the fuck? Excuse me. Wait your turn like the rest I'm of sorry. us. sorry. We're going to the front. Come on. <laughs> well, she's had four years of working out Why do you and obsessing. Me? I went back. Around, um, no, don't freak out. No, it's coming. Making sure she's tough enough to. Take Annie? on Joel. Where's your pack? In the room? And obviously, in the first Why game, are you doing this to me? the only I care medical about person that you're forced to kill uh, is no on this drive? the um, and she's cool with it. the actual surgeon. Why does your yeah sound like a no? <laughs> it's my accent. Come on, stop being paranoid. I think you get a kick out of making me uncomfortable. No. It's an opportunity for you two to finally move forward. We've barely said a word to each other since Jackson. I'm just supposed to pretend that didn't happen? Of course not. You guys need to talk about it. She wanted Joel dead as much as the rest of us. But she's not like the rest of us. She hasn't hurt people like that before. She, she kills scars all the time. Not the way we kill Joel. Don't forget, we are grunts. She's a medic. Come on, Abby. She's family. Do it for me, okay? I'll try. That's all I'm asking. Get your things ready. I'm gonna grab Mel. Yeah. Be nice. Bye. Scientist, huh? huh. I'll do it later. Uh, I think I've got a hypnosis track that does that. Not one I've made, one I've bought years and years and years ago. Knock, knock. 
Ready to roll? Yeah, just about. Hi. Hey. I actually cleared you for active duty. Really? You could probably get a stay if you ask. I'd rather not sit around if I don't have to. And Owen's okay with this? Why would it be up to Owen? We need to grab Alice on our way. Hey. Who better? What are you getting called up for? It's just the usual rotation, don't worry. Hey, uh, when you get back, will you check on my dad? He seems, uh, I don't know, worse? Worse how? Well, he's complaining about a sharp pain in his wrist. He can barely hold his spoon. Maybe we can get him some more painkillers. Heard they moved you and Owen to Section 96? Yeah. Some young families? Getting you guys excited about the baby? Seeing all the kids running around, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready. <laughs> all those crying babies? Let's drive all with Grayson. He hasn't even seen it yet. Yeah. Danny, yikes. Sucks for him. Yeah. She's playing inside. Great. Abby, you want to grab her? Let's go grab Alice. Hey, girl. Hey, you crazy dog. Hey, girl. You're the only one that'll put up with your shit. <laughs> hey, Al. You want to go to the trucks? Let's go to the trucks. Oh, hey there, bear. Yeah, okay, since you asked so nicely. Who's the best boy? Yeah. Get the ball. Let's play fetch for a minute. Yes, unfortunately. We know what happens to Alice later. Go get it. One more throw. I always have to work. Right, I've got to work. Did I see you? Yes, you did. You dirty dog. What's she doing in town? Something for Isaac. Man, it's gotta be a lonely job. She really likes it. Ask her about the cumulus cloud. <laughs> well, I guess you get to stay away from the combat. Yeah, I, that's what you're into. I'd be happy staying put, I think. Just treating families. Hey, Abby. Dude needs fucking up hey, scars. I don't think so. I'd go crazy. Hey, Pat. Hey. You got it. Take S24.
May your survival be long. May your death be swift. I could use a warm up. Time for some friendly competition? The loser cleans the apartment. The stakes. Best score on a food magazine? You're on, Cabron. Only just. I'm requesting that gun next time. Yeah, the gun's why I won. Oh, that reminds me, there is a huge pile of dirty dishes. Yeah, you're cruel. Ooh, you can fold my laundry too. Take your ears off. Let's get to the base. I wonder who makes all of the ammo mm, in the uh, game. Because the ammo's got to eventually run out, especially if you're doing all the practicing. Alice, get shotgun. Mel's pregnant. <laughs> she could use the fresh air. Do I can't stop. Gracias. Have you been sleeping these days? Not great. Do you want me to get you something from the pharmacy? Nah, I'm, I'm good. It's not a big deal. No, it's, it's fine. I'm just going to wear myself out. I've been picking up a few extra assignments. You and I. What do you mean? Nothing. Hey, Manny. Where are you headed? To. Truck S24 headed to two. May your survival be long. May your dead be swift. Have we lost a hatchery? Yeah. Any plan on getting it back? No, nah, Isaac says it's low priority. We're fishing up wild salmon right now. What did you mean about me and Owen? Um. I haven't seen him in like two weeks. He keeps picking up open assignments. Has he talked to you? Did, did he say anything? Or... No, we're still not. I mean, I, I've seen him in the mess hall, but we walk around each other. Jackson shook him. You know, I wouldn't read too much into it. <laughs> Where you can kill the horses. Good shot. I'm trying. Go, get Okay. 
You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Your fucking scars. How far away from the fob? It's a hike. We're too exposed. Let's get inside. Chill out, bug. It was likely to happen, yeah. So if you're going out fighting. Copy that. Maybe we should have taken our chances outside. Nah. We got this. <sighs> Lots of places to hide in here. Guns, but no stabby things. Obviously, Ellie always has a knife. He's doing something. We clear? Yeah. Clear. This is so much better. What? Nothing. Guys, look up there. See the light coming through? Could be a way out. I'll climb up there and check it out. Here we go. Just emphasizing there that my shoulder's still bad. Got to find the way up now. Jumping over there? Is that what I'm doing? Or jumping over there? On the right! 
got the shambler, but uh, used a lot of my ammo. Shit. Is that it? Can we say fuck this place? <laughs> Come on. Where was the shambler when it died? There it was. Nope. Thought it might drop something. Guys, found a way out. Have we? You got it. <laughs> Ladies first. Another month and I wouldn't fit through here. Go ahead, Apps. You said ladies first. <laughs> I like you, Apps. Shouldn't. All these plants are alive. <laughs> <laughs> good point. You know what? This is good. You two needed a bonding moment. Shut, Shut up, up, Manny. Set ahead. The scars in sight. Well, they're out there. Yeah. Let's keep moving. <clears throat> God. Remember when we could pass through this area without getting jumped by scars? Getting nostalgic about the truce? Easier days, huh? Too easy. We let our guard down, and they. That was in retaliation to us shooting those kids. Okay, but those kids attacked our guys. What would you do? I don't know, not riddle them with bullets? I'd rather save our people. Many of their kids, it's not their fault. Not our fault either. Those deaths are on them. No, nope, can't get in there. Okay. Not to jinx us. Keep checking those sight lines. All right, well, I came up here and I tried this door and it wasn't open. It looks like the way to go. Oh, now it is opening. Something's blocking the door. Maybe there's another way in. Rope. Up here. Manny, see what's up there. <coughs> Cable's caught on something. I'll stay with Alice. I'll try to get that door open. Find you two another way in. Up we go. Well? Oh. Long way down. Yeah, yeah it is. But we got rope. Here we go. 
And that. Uh, ooh, that was a bit close. I thought I just jumped in there. And drop. Okay, Mel. We're in. I'm at the door. Groovy chickens. Let's just straighten this up. Mm. I'll do it myself. Okay, come on. Quick. Take time. Thanks. Yeah, sure. We're here. Excuse me, doggo. Whoa. Check it out. Some kind of boat workshop. Let's remember this place. Command's always on the lookout for spare parts. No, can't do anything with anything. There's some tools, or some bits. Maybe I can now. Let's try again. Mm, nope, it's too calm. Well, that's pointless having that bit there. You know, my dad took me fishing on a boat like this. Manny, just hang tight. We're gonna find a way up to the roof. Okay. So, glad you hitched a ride with us. Right. Am I gonna thank Manny for that? <laughs> I am glad I'm here. Hey, why have you been avoiding me? Is it avoiding you? Come on, you've barely said anything to me since Jackson. I guess I was. Shook by Jackson, too. You don't think Joel deserved what he got? I get it. What kind of a person could do that, right? Let's see if there's a way to the hatch. All right. Do I have to climb up the boat? Boost you up. Right. I like ideas. Okay, here we go. Got it. Poor baby getting squished against that. So, what's your idea? Um, one sec. What are you doing? Getting us out of here? Okay, just go slow. One advantage of being pregnant, low center of gravity. I'll take your word for it. What, you're not even watching? What? Thank you. I would. Where have you put something down? Ah, oh, you open the door. That's good. Okay. Getting closer to the hatch.
Where are we going with this one? Over there? Reminds me a little of Owen. Is he still trying to fix that thing up? Yeah. And he says he'll be done any day now. Any day now. <laughs> Everybody's got their obsession. You know, with me and dog toys. Yup. And me with my stupid coins. <laughs> Nearly able to craft shivs, that'll be handy. Get the ladder. I didn't step off there, that's annoying. I was hoping to jump at the rope. Yeah, like that. Hello? Glad you could pop in. Long way down. Vertigo hitting you hard? Yeah, especially when I look down. Oh, here we go. There they are. Manny! Be right down! Okay! Almost there. Bet we can cut through that rail yard. You want to get off the roof with us? <laughs> Please. It's kind of hard to imagine you being afraid of anything. I'm not as fearless as you think. Oh, please. Like, I, I could never do the surgery stuff you do. Be too freaked out about fucking it up. You think I don't feel the same way? Oh, for what it's worth, my dad always said you were his best student. Oh. He always said he was an idiot. <laughs> Come on. And About time you two caught up. Been quiet out here? I don't like it. Well, we're almost to the pub. Guys, down this way. <clears throat> Okay, we'll follow the tracks. That'll get us back on the main road to the fob. I know. Keep your eyes open. Uh, yep, that looks better than what I've got. Do I just shoot them? Does the pipe bomb reach them? Where 
the train yard. Find who did this. Oh, I don't have a silencer now. And no bow and arrow. Mel. Yep, that looks a bit better. Right, this gun isn't quiet. Oh, there you are. Any more of you? IP. Very good shot there. Holy shit. Is that it? On me. Let's go. Right, I've got two shots, I think. Guys, up here. Come on, girl. We're almost there. Through here. Yeah, I've got to make them count. Oh no, four shots. My mistake. Oh, I do have some other guns. Oh, let's just go for it. 
Slightly more than running out. Yeah, stay safe, doggo. Obviously, caring more about hey, dogs. Let me see your hand. Don't get the blood on We're the in. dog. Oh. Dripping everywhere. this as hard as you can, okay? Holy shit. I didn't even feel it. Hey! We got two. Hey, he's got a gunshot wound to the hand. Almost a compliment. Go get help. Stay, Alice. Come on, it's this way. That's it. That was a lot of blood, right? She shouldn't be out. She'll be okay. Here. Hey, come on, girl. This is Alice. Come on, Alice. Good girl. Thank you. These new recruits. I don't trust them. Thanks again, guys. <laughs> the dogs only understand Dutch. What do you mean? We've been stationed here for three days with nothing coming down the pipe. Then you should be thanking us for getting some action. Your chat had stopped. Come on, you owe us one. Can you find out what's up? Okay. Well, let us check in first. We'll get back to you. All right, thanks, Ben. See ya. What the hell was that? Uh, no idea. Checking in. Hey, you two. What you got for us? No assignment. Just says report to Isaac. Both of us? Yeah. Never been this busy here. Something's going down. You'd better find Isaac. 
We should make sure Mel's okay first. These people. You? Hey there, Abby. Hey, uh, Abby. Hey, yeah. Come here, side. Yeah? Heard about your ambush. Heard they hit you. Uh, right around here. Middle the warehouses. Oh, shit. They keep slipping past our lines. You know where Isaac is? Uh, he was here a few minutes ago. Okay, thanks. We'll look around. All right, so... I think it's dislocated. What's interesting is that obviously, um, Hold still. Uh, All right. Ellie and everyone feel that no. hey, man. Jackson's you know the yes. civilized yes. place, but actually, this is equally as civilized yeah. and built up. Brother, you only need three. Am I right? Two. Unless you're missing a limb or two, you're not getting It'll more. Be, okay. I don't know. It don't happen so fast. It would have been much worse now. Mm. Speak of the devil. Hey, guys. How you doing, Melon? Just a few more stitches, and I'll be good as new. You guys need to convince this girl to relax. Hey, Mel. Relax. You got it. Hey, um, I need some muscle, so can you two give me a hand or something? Sure. Don't move. I'll just be here. Relaxing. Nora, have you had a chance to relax? Oh, I'm shipping out to the West Side Hospital in a few. Our desire to get everything. How's Mel? Really? Well, the baby's vitals were a little elevated, but I'm not worried. Someone should get word to Owen. I want to be here for her. Yeah. I need to show you guys something. What is it? Follow me. Oh, my God. Are these all ours? Yeah. And more are coming in by the hour. You can't tell Mel, all right? Just not yet. Come here. Who's in that body bag? <laughs> Holy shit. It's Danny. <laughs> Where's Owen? I don't know. A few days back, there were some scar sightings out by the marina. Danny and Owen were sent on a sweep. And this morning, the guards found Danny collapsed behind the perimeter fence. He'd walked himself back with a bullet in his stomach. Pinches a scar, hijos de puta. Isaac talked with him until he passed, but as far as I can tell, there's no units going back that way. So what about Owen? Did you ask Isaac what happened? Yeah, I tried. But he gave me that, that fucking look, and then he told me to keep quiet about it. Which means you can't say shit. Owen's a big boy. I'm sure he's fine. Where is Isaac? I'll be discreet. Last I heard, he was um, in the apartments. Okay, I'm gonna go check up on Mel, so. Let me know what you guys find out. Yeah. Why the hell hasn't Isaac sent out a search party for Owen? Maybe he hasn't just even told more. I fucking hope so. We're looking for Isaac. He's inside. Go on in. Thank you. 
Damn, look who it is. What's up, fellas? You got time for a game? Nope. Gotta find Isaac. Whatever, big shot. Not my fault I'm so good at what I do. Mm-hmm. See you around. Isaac, it took three days, but I finally got something out of 74. If what he's saying is true, it sounds like the southern shore might be our best bet. I've marked up the map and left it in your suite. We should send scouts to verify as soon as possible. I still feel like he might be holding out. Give me a few more days with him. Sergeant Foster. I don't miss this place. Fuck. Always hated the smell. After our morning, I wouldn't mind a few minutes with these guys. I hear that. Hey, Abby. We need to go up. Isaac's in there. Oh. Do you know if he'll be long? Said again when you two arrive. Well. Sir, Abby and Manny are here. Fall asleep. Yes, sir. Let's go up. I heard you two ran into some trouble. No losses on our side. Just some minor injuries. Can't say the same for them. Wish I was hearing more of that. Never seen the base this packed. Give it another day. Still waiting on some units. What's going on, boss? These small skirmishes. Can't keep going like this. Then what? You could try another truce. How long before some asshole on their side or our side unravels the whole thing? No. It has to be all of them. Sir, we'll try attacking their island. Not like this. Not with everyone. It's a big storm a few days out. We're gonna use it to mask our approach. You two are going to lead the first wave. Pick your squads, start prepping. I want Owen. When are he and Danny getting back? You talk, Nora. No secrets between the Salt Lake crew. Is Owen OK? Then why don't you send a search party after him? He shot Danny. Apparently to protect some scar. It's bullshit. Excuse me? It's not Owen. You got it wrong. You're saying Danny used his last breath to lie to me? Sir, people hear that story. Owen's dead. Anyone who finds him, they'll gun him down for sport. And I suggest you all stop gossiping about let me go after him. I'll walk him back in. We'll get to the no. bottom. No. 
You said yourself the storm's a few No. Days. You've only got one shot at this. This is bigger than any of us. Definitely bigger than Owen. What are the chances of us not going looking for Owen? If he turns up, then fine. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. And we'll get to the bottom of it. I need you, Abby. Yeah? Yeah. I get it. over the plans and go through your roster. Grab some food. Talk later. No way a wink killed Daniel for some scar, right? Abby, don't. I'll be back by morning. You just gotta cover me till then. I said we'll kick your ass. Not before the assault. You heard him, he needs me. If Owen's out there, how the hell are you going to find him? I know where he'll go. Three years earlier. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> what? Seriously, stop it. <laughs> All right. Why don't you come on over and enjoy this view with me then? It's great. It's the best. Oh. <laughs> come on. We made it all the way up here just so you could wimp out on the last two steps. Yeah. Yes, the deal was to get up here, so. Mm. All right, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get your ass over here, sit on the edge, or you can go down here on the kid seat and look at this view with me. You can't miss training. Really? Not even just for one night? No. Talk about it. It's getting late. Yeah. Okay. Don't. Don't, do not, it is too high. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. You know, I don't think I can live like this anymore, Abby. Owen, I'm serious. I will break up with you. Owen. I always love you. Don't! Owen! Asshole. You jumped? Ugh. I missed it? I thought you drowned. And you came to my rescue? No. <laughs> I came to make sure you drowned. <laughs> uh, I found something pretty awesome. What? I think you're gonna have to follow me to see it. go back. We will. Once you see this. Owen. What are they going to do? Kick out a bunch of displaced fireflies who have nowhere else to go? Maybe. I don't want to find out. Just come see this thing. Take a deep breath. What is this place? I don't 
gonna keep going? Fuck yeah. Don't know how he initially found this tunnel. This place is crazy. I think it's like one of those uh, zoos, but for fish. Shut up. Check this water pup out. I saw the seal the other day. It was covered in spots. They don't have spots, they're brown. Those are sea lions. No, no, you don't know. <laughs> hey, give me a hand with this. This place. Well, clearly this is some sort of theater, but for uh, fish. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a rooster? What? I'm a wolf. That's my wolf power. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> you think this sailboat was part of the show? No, no. It looks like somebody turned this into a midship dock or something. There's some kids' clothes. Bet a family came through. Look at these drawings. I wonder what happened to him. Maybe they joined the wolves. Yeah, or it got killed by scars. Such an optimist. Mm. Obviously, it's interesting in this world that everyone thinks everyone else is an enemy. All right, enough of this boat. You want to go see the rest of the fish zoo? You think there's more to see? Of course. Let's go. Where are we going? All right. Get me up there. Here. Uh, okay. You might have been able to open it from the inside. Oh, shit. What are you? <laughs> Pushed 185 pounds yesterday. So, we take a quick look around and then... We head right back. Uh-huh. Except that there's nothing, and you're gonna beg me to stay. <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, you don't see that every day.
It's a tank in the floor. Can you imagine this place filled with people? Kids laughing, running around. Different world, right? I'm claiming this place. Hmm. It's mine. I'd probably do the same. You can visit. Oh, you sure? Not really, actually. See how nice you are to me first. Mm, you're a dick. Not a great start. Kids, if you find this, I want you to know I don't blame you. Those Seraphites are selling a good line. I understand why you thought you'd be better off with them. There's food and water in the boat. Take it and sail away from this place. I know I got too controlling. I just wanted so much for you two to be safe. I hope you see that. I couldn't find antibiotics. I want you both to know I love you. Ricky, keep watching out for Max. You own that, Dad. I think it's the same family from the boat. That's good, yeah. Get them to break the rules, too. You don't think it's worth it? <laughs> Let's see how much trouble we're in when we get back. <laughs> Shut up. Thanks for dragging me into this amazing place. I'll think about it. This is our boat, Captain. Dad, I'm taking Max away from here. He can't spend his life locked inside this rotting building. All he'll do is take on your weaknesses. When the soldiers killed Mum, you just stood there like a coward. What kind of example is that? You should have gotten angry. You should have made them hurt worse than they hurt her. I want Max to see what it looks like when people are willing to stand up for what they want, when they're willing to make something of their life. The world is harsh. It's up to us to change it. Only when weak may I carry my true strength. Maybe we'll come back someday. If we do, I hope you're not still sitting in your stupid fucking chair. His kids are enough to join the scars. Jeez. Hmm. Well, on the bright side, found these keys. What is wrong with you? He's a skeleton. He doesn't need them. I just don't understand how anybody willingly joins the Scars. Why not? Because they're an insane cult. That's why. In the QZs, people would refer to the Fireflies as terrorists. Fanatics. You were naive. You weren't fanatical. We blew up checkpoints and assassinated soldiers. Don't say shit like that at the stadium, okay? Okay, all right. Want to try those keys? Oh. This one? Nope. Jump out. Got it. Man, painting this must have taken forever. <laughs> uh. 
Are we jumping down? Don't tell me you want to go down there. Come on. Owen. The last thing. I promise. Last thing. <sighs> Just, uh, don't look down. Let's go. <laughs> You're good. love to meet this kid. I mean, he's a scar. Maybe you have. Ah, Jesus. I sure hope not. Whoa. Get on in here. See that? COVID idiot. Told you there was part of it. <laughs> yeah, Slow down. No. Is it this? It's this, isn't it? You are disgusted by it. <laughs> Come on. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Talk to me. I know all the leads have dried up, but... But Joel's still out there, you know? I know. What can I do? Let's go back. We can still make training. seals for a little while. I'm sorry. I told you already. Don't be sorry. I know, you can see how it was panning out chasing revenge and focusing on the revenge above everything else for uh, Abby. What if Owen's somewhere else? He's there. Let's get off the roof before someone sees us. Can I talk you out of this? No. We don't know what happened. I gotta find him. I mean, if you really killed Danny... Fuck Danny. I'm jealous Owen got to shoot him before I did. Whoa, Abby. I do appreciate you helping me sneak out like this. How are you getting to the quarry? The highway? Can't. Too many patrols. You get spotted for sure. I'll rough it. Aquarium's due west of here. Keep following the sun, right? I'm coming with you. I've done this before. Not with this many scars in the area. Many. Please. All right. You know best. Hmm? Uh. Anything else to pick up before I jump down?
Many of the mirrors are broken. I wonder if it's, uh, as you're turning into a zombie, the last thing you want is to see yourself. Hey. <clears throat> Thanks. Yeah, and other stuff, you know. You're a good friend. <laughs> Come on, Ives. You know, I can't handle all this emotion. <sighs> yeah, that'd be Last of Us Part 3. Looks clear. Come on. When vampires take over. Wish me luck. When you find him, don't hit him too hard. I'll do my best. Seriously, watch yourself out there. See ya. How bad could it be? We're only heading to the aquarium. <laughs> Just follow the sunset. Right, that's a good place to stop. Yeah. Is that you creaking away? Uh. Yeah, it's him climbing away. So, hopefully that was okay for people today. Thanks for joining me. Um, let me unplug my ears. So, I was hoping that today I would make it um, as far as playing as Abby. This is one of the big kind of spoilery bits that I was hoping no one would end up ruining for people. The number of people that have jumped on people's streams to get very angry in people's streams about um, Abby's behaviour towards Joel and uh, how bad it is that you have to play as Abby in the second half of the game. Um, and people get really, really angry about that. And then, obviously, if you're someone who hasn't played it before, that kind of ruins the um, oh we're now playing as Abby kind of bit and then get it I personally think it's quite good playing as Abby getting Abby's uh, views on things understanding Abby's motivation for why she ended up seeking revenge rightly or wrongly but you know why she ended up going down the path that technically Ellie's currently on um, what the big driver was for her to be so focused on seeking that revenge and going after Joel regardless of what she might lose on that kind of journey to that um, yeah people do need to chill a bit um, so yeah, and the actress got so much, uh, or the voice actress, got so much backlash for being the one who voiced Abby and um, the character of Abby got so much backlash for being so muscular, um, saying that she's unnaturally muscular and yet obviously um, Neil Druckmann who, makes no, uh, who made the game showed images of people who train and work out and who are that focused on like athletes and pointed out that she's so obsessed and focused on her mission of I've got to be able to take on Joel and obviously she knows what Joel's capable of he wiped out every single firefly pretty much that he encountered um, so some survived but pretty much everyone he encountered he wiped out and her dad so um, you know she was going to want to be physically very fit and strong and capable of taking on this man who was capable of wiping out all of these fireflies um, and you know she can't even miss a day's training she has to be back and has to do the training and has to you know 
make sure that she's in you know her peak physical fitness um but it's taken a big toll on her the whole you know her and owen obviously had a good relationship potentially could have had a good thing going and yet she was throwing it all away for her obsession with finding and killing joel um for like well four years from when you see her on this game so for the whole four years so she's probably been you know with Owen a little bit longer but for the whole four years she's uh, um <laughs> yeah go and promote my channel but yeah so you know she spent four years obsessing and focusing on getting Joel eventually did get Joel and then obviously the question is has that made her now think you know what that was all worth it I feel so much better um, because so far from what's been said Owen hasn't talked to Abby Mel and Owen haven't talked to each other um, everyone's kind of tense and uncomfortable about what happened how it all went down um, you know, so the question is, was it all worth it? And obviously Abby wasn't entirely a monster, so to speak. You know, she, and neither was Owen. Owen was very much, we only came for Joel, don't kill the others, That's we weren't here for them. We'll be no better than Joel if we go killing the others, not just Joel. Um, Abby was similar. Abby was very much let them uh, live and we came for Joel, we've got Joel, let them live, this isn't them, their problem. Um, so she was kind of trying to be reasonable about it rather than focused on literally let's wipe out everyone between me and Joel. Um, but obviously had she just killed Ellie she probably wouldn't be having the problems that she's having now, where we know that from the first half of the game that Ellie has been wiping everyone out trying to get to Abby. Um, so, yeah, so obviously revenge isn't necessarily the best course of action. Um, but I'm glad that next... I, I The first time I played this game, I actually think I preferred playing generally as Abby more than as Ellie. Um, partly because playing as Ellie, you felt more uncomfortable, which is obviously the whole point of the game, that it was made so that you do feel uncomfortable doing the things that you end up having to do, like having to torture, uh, although you don't see the torture itself, having to torture, um, what's her face in the hospital, Nora. Um, so yeah, so the, the sort of the way you are as Ellie is more uncomfortable in this game, I think, generally, than the way you are as Abby and when you're playing as Abby in this game. Um, but yeah, so now all we have to do is get to Owen at the aquarium, and uh, we will continue or start that journey. Um, and hope that we don't upset Isaac, that we get back before we have to go off with Isaac. Um, but yeah, it's interesting that obviously Ellie sees Abby and all her people almost like they're some kind of savages. Um, and that, you know, oh, they, they're nothing like Jackson is. And then you've got um, Abby saw Joel as some kind of a savage and that they're nothing like Joel is and they've got to do their best not to be like Joel but then at the same time you've got the Seraphites and the WLF seeing each other as savages you know kind of they're bad let's they sort of dehumanize them they, you know, they're bad let's kill them kind of thing um, So what do you find interesting about uh, me finding it easier being Abby? I 
it is easier for people to kill others when they see them as somehow less than human uh, or less than your level, whatever your level in your worldview happens to be. Um, obviously, that's the whole thing with things like armed forces, is to attempt to make it so that, to some extent, you dehumanise the people that you're going to have to essentially point a gun at and shoot. Um, obviously, when I first played through it, I I didn't get the anger that Ellie had, obviously, around Joel's death. Um, I could kind of see that there are, people do react in these sort of ways, but, but I didn't feel that sort of anger. I thought, well, the logical, sensible thing is that you get upset, but you let it go essentially you know you don't um go on a revenge trip uh it because that's not going to help it probably won't bring anyone back but you might want to go and find out what happened and why you might want to know why so you might sort of have this thought of they need to be brought to justice for murder or whatever but it wouldn't be about revenge it'd be more about someone literally has turned up here and killed someone and so we want to know why that they've gone and done that what was behind their choice to do that and in this world obviously there is no justice as such There's, it's not like someone can go to prison or go to rehabilitation somewhere or something so really you would just find out and uh, you know see where that leads i don't know what the outcome would be but um, but I wouldn't want, ideally, to go on a revenge trip because I think that that just affects you more than anyone else. Um, yeah, Abby and myself um, make a point of saying hello when we pass homeless people um, and talking to them to obviously make them have, feel human, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I don't see any line particularly. I, I see justice as it's just a consequence to actions, that there are consequences to people's actions. Uh, I disagree with most consequences that society puts in place. I think that consequences are usually better being uh, somehow helpful rather than punitive or punishment type consequences um, because that kind of consequence doesn't generally lead to behaviour change and better human beings at the end of it. Um, likewise, long term consequences don't lead so uh, obviously I've worked a lot with young people a young person going into a young offenders institute for one weekend will want to transform their behavior not always but generally want to transform their behavior because it was a horrible experience for them a young person going into a young offenders institute for say a three or four weeks hates it for the first couple of days and then gets used to it and then starts making friends and then thinks, well, it isn't so bad. If the, the worst case of me getting caught is that I end up in somewhere like that again, that's fine. I've got these friends um, there. I know that I can cope in that environment. And this goes for parenting as well, that if a parent says, right, you're grounded for a month, for a start, the parent's incredibly unlikely to be able to put a punishment in place like a grounding for a whole month. And it will probably be worse for the parent than the child to try and keep a child grounded for a month. Uh, but secondly, the grounding is bad for the child for the first 24 hours. Then the child starts finding things to do with their time and just occupies themselves and it doesn't mean anything anymore to them. So it's better if you are going to do something like grounding 
to say you're not going out tonight and leave it at that not drag it out for like you're grounded for a month or you're grounded till you're 18 or whatever rubbish that some people will say it's best just to keep it as a short sharp thing so that your memory of it as the individual who's experiencing that punishment is I hated it not your memory of it is well it wasn't so bad because you got used to it and it wasn't so bad um it's like kind of if you started a new job and your first day was absolutely horrible and you then refused to go back to that job because you now have refused to go back to that job your memory of it is it was that bad but if you settled into it um then yes it was bad to start with but it ends up being well it wasn't so bad in the end really so i think all these sort of you know where you have long-term punishments um things like long-term prison sentences all those sort of things are inefficient ways of helping and changing the behavior of those offenders there also comes the question of at what point do you stop treating someone as a victim and start treating them as an offender. So I've obviously worked a lot with sex offenders, with um, people uh, with paedophiles and things. And part of the question then comes down to at what point, say for example, they happen to have been abused when they were a child. A lot of people see them as an abused child, but then as soon as they start doing the abuse that happened to them, they get seen as um, somehow now the criminal and the evil person. And yet, maybe two years earlier, they were seen as the poor, vulnerable victim child. So, um, you know, there's that sort of, that fine line um, where people, in my view, should look more at how can you help people to change their behaviours and find a better future path rather than necessarily using punitive punishments? Uh, where I do think you need to lock some people up is where it's pretty much the only option you're left with for protecting others in society. So where that individual's behaviour is going to negatively in a bad way, impact on the lives of other human beings or other people or animals or whatever, um, then I think for the protection of others, that person needs to be um, restricted for the length of period that their behaviour isn't more acceptable or safer for others. You obviously have to weigh up risk and think, you know, you're always trying to balance, is this person telling me the truth, etc. But, you know, it, it's better to be having the overarching focus on helping people to change their behaviours and the kind of behaviour, this the sort of life restriction element is only to safeguard everyone else while others need safeguarding. So if others don't need safeguarding um, then don't have the person locked up so uh, and if you can find alternatives to locking someone up don't lock someone up so if you can put monitoring tags on people who maybe that's the thing that they need is to make people safe is they need to be monitored or something um, or if you can monitor certain aspects of that individual's life uh, for example, if someone maybe was doing a, had done a lot of fraud or something to do with computers, maybe they have bank accounts or whatever monitored for a duration of time uh, as they kind of are being helped to hopefully find a better way or whatever it happens to be. Um, but yeah, everyone, whether you're locked up or whether you're not, deserves kindness, respect, uh, dignity, um, and just like everyone else does. Um, but yeah, so but it is very natural for people to dehumanise others or a group of people so that they can then 
attack them or treat them as somehow, you know, like in this world. You have to dehumanise the zombies, which you can hear the zombies. They sound like they're humans in agony, some of them. So the ones when they become clickers and things don't. They sound like they are now being run in their minds like a different creature. So the clickers seem to have active kind of hunting behaviours of scanning the environment and trying to hunt down prey or whatever. Whereas the lower level stage uh, zombie kind of creatures seem almost like they're just humans in agony having their brains controlled against their will almost. Um, so you kind of have to desensitise yourself to that and dehumanise them and make it so that somehow you're thinking this person who's in human clothes that looks like a human to some extent still isn't you you have to convince yourself that isn't a human being anymore there isn't a human in there a bit like um the child said in the first game that he worries that what if there's a person still in there what if he turns into one of those things and there's still a person in there and so you have to convince yourself that that isn't a person you're killing. And yet, if you lived in this world, you would know there was X number of billions of people in the world and now there's like maybe less than a billion and the rest are dead or infected in some way. And so you would know these were human beings. They did have lives, families, etc., and so you have to somehow get your head around that and you know, convince yourself that they're not human now. So the whole of this world is about you know, doing that in relation to the zombies, but then also doing that in relation to the different factions, like there's us who are really civilised and we build a wall around our place and we look after our place. Um, well, yeah, there is that question of would Ellie have killed um, or hesitated even uh, as you say rather than necessarily she may still have ended up killing especially under the circumstances where um, the gun had gone off obviously at Owen and so she was in a fight technically with uh, Mel and it's harder to have decided not to do something to defend yourself at that moment. But her intention on going in there was probably, I'll tell you that if you tell me where Abby is, I won't kill you. But in reality, just like we've seen Joel do, just like Ellie talked about how uh, Tommy has done, just like we know Ellie was now prepared to do, she was going in there with the intention that she'll probably, once she discovered the two of them, she was probably going to get the mark on the map from one and then get the mark on the map from the other and have them both dead at the end of it, having got two marks, you know, the mark on the map and the other one says the same place. Um, so where she might have hesitated wouldn't be when she's in the survival, you know, you're trying to kill me point, but she might have hesitated if she'd looked in the room and had seen that one of the two of them was pregnant on peering into the room before she was noticed uh, and before, you know, sort of right at the beginning while she was looking through the door. That's the point I think she might have hesitated. If she saw that Mel was pregnant, there probably would have to have been a scene of her thinking, oh, F, and backing out the door a bit and trying to think, how do you handle this? Um, whereas I think once she was in the situation it played out how it was going to play out, you know, the way everything happened. Um, and I technically think she probably would have felt even more guilty and bad if she had actually not shot Owen, but had tortured them to get the information and then realised that Mel was pregnant. I suspect that would have been even worse for her, rather than just a quick kind of stab to the neck to defend herself where she would be able to in her head justify I didn't have a choice I feel sick I feel really bad but I didn't have a choice literally 
she was trying to stab me with the knife, so it was either her or me. And so as long as she can justify that to herself, I think it will play on her mind, but she'll know that she didn't have a choice in it. The only choice is that she probably would have died instead. Um, whereas actual torturing the two of them would be a very different situation. Yep, they do, do wish each other a swift death, and technically they got a reasonably swift death. It depends what your definition of a swift death, it, death is, like how quick. Um, but yeah, so, so I found playing as Ellie, the difficulty I had was that I wasn't really invested in her revenge motivation. I didn't want to be killing the people I was killing. So I was carrying out behaviours as a player that I thought, no, you're going too far now. Really, you've just found out that your girlfriend is pregnant and you should be focusing on what Joel would want would be for us to be happy as a family. Kind of thing that, you know, in my head, this is what I was thinking when I first played it, was would Joel really want you? I know that you've got Tommy to try and find, etc. But would Joel want you to be putting yourself at risk now that you know your girlfriend's pregnant? Um, wouldn't you want to have that kind of let's go and have a happy family type of thing? Um, whereas as Abby, obviously we know at least a part of Abby's storyline that Abby is going to end up facing off with Ellie. We know that because that's where it cut to you playing as Abby. Um, but Abby's been through that revenge path. And so playing as Abby for all of this, she currently has no idea that Ellie's knocking around just down the road. She's no idea um, that Tommy is knocking around somewhere. Um, she's aware of the fact that she's had lots of issues with the others since coming back from Jackson but she doesn't know that anyone from Jackson has arrived and is kind of hunting her down now so her gameplay at least at this point is relatively kind of light-hearted and friendly banter and more about just natural survival rather than hunting people you know she's not necessarily going somewhere to hunt someone down she's trying to just survive and uh... yeah Joel wouldn't have said about going after Tommy um... but this game has got a lot of people talking about things. Uh, some people, I, I watched one person playing this game and as soon as it got to playing as young Abby, they just put their controller down. They were so angry at the thought of having to play as um, the person who killed their favorite computer game character who they had really emotionally grown to love um, they they just put the controller down they said they can't do it and eventually they did pick their controller up and they did play through it and they moaned the whole time they played it they moaned saying couldn't care less this is the person who killed uh, Joel couldn't care less couldn't care less couldn't care less and then they reached the point obviously where Abby's dad gets killed and they suddenly thought ah everything clicks and they realised that's why I'd be so angry, but they still thought, no, I'm still on Ellie's side. I can't, I can understand now why she killed Joel, but I can't play as the person who killed Joel. I'm so angry that about this. And yet, as this progressed, um, their attitudes changed. I think I've only, well, a lot of people who've played it, it seems to be that experience, that as they play through this part, their attitudes start to change because they start to see 
what Abby is like as a human being rather than an idea, so to speak, which is what you see Abby as at, in the first half of the game. Uh, you, essentially, the first half of the game is like if you play any other game and it's something you don't really think of when you play games like Call of... whatever it is, Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto... Um, I'm trying to think what other games you go shooting, everyone. There's, there's loads of... Any game where you essentially have some bad guy and your role is to shoot your way through levels or worlds or whatever and get to a point where you end up taking on and killing that bad guy, you never really see whether that bad guy was really bad and whether all the people who you killed on your way to get to them were really bad you never see their side of it. You only see it from your side of it. So the first Last of Us game, for example, you only see it from your side of it. You only see it that, you know, you're killing uh, this person for that reason and that person for this reason. You know, you're killing your way through the world, even at the end. You know, you kill the Doctor to save Ellie. You kill uh, Marlene to save Ellie. At no point in the game does it make you think whether you should have done that or not. Like what the world is from their perspective as characters. You're just a person who's got the freedom to shoot your way through the game and kill everyone. Um, you never have to face what that means. Like that these are real people with real lives and that they're not necessarily bad people. Um, and obviously that's the same in things like war, you know, where you've got, um, you've got people, uh, in war where it's like, you know, one country's worth of people or whatever kill another country's worth of people and they see them just as the bad guys when actually nearly all of them are essentially just like you are. And they're just doing their job, which is you need to go and fight and you need to protect our whatever. Um, so you're protecting your freedoms or whatever, and they're protecting their freedoms, and they think they're right and fighting for the right thing, and you think you're right and fighting for the right thing, mm -hmm. and you're saying they're the bad guys, and they're saying you're the bad guys, and um, and you don't think about it necessarily like that. And in computer games, you normally don't think about it like that. So what's really good or what I liked about this game is this second part where you're kind of forced to meet all the characters that you've uh, kind of killed, not all the characters you've killed, but um, because you don't meet all the people you've killed, that's a lot of people that you've killed, but you meet the, a bunch of the people that you've killed in the first game, like we've met Nor uh, in the first half, we've met Nora for example, um, you meet people that are killed in the first half and uh, we already know for example that Abby ends up shooting Jesse so the other way around as well uh, but in this second half obviously you get to know these people as just ordinary human beings a bit more um, yeah she definitely went into her you know autopilot revenge seeing red uh, Obviously, it's what happens that when people get into that kind of fight or flight mode where you just have to f sort of fight, you shut down your higher cortex and you only focus on those kind of primal behaviours and you don't engage the sort of higher parts of your brain that could do with being engaged for you to make better decision making. Yeah, I do the same. I watch uh, very, very conservative media to try and figure out. It ends up confusing me when I see, I watch ultra conservative media that ends up saying, for example, oh, all the left uh, are just so you know racist and so this and so that and in my brain I'm thinking but that's exactly what I think of you and your behaviours um, and then I get confused thinking so what is it 
and that's why I watch it to try and think uh, so what is it that makes you think that that's us yeah it because it, it confuses me um, when I think there are just some fundamental things that you'd imagine everyone would agree on like freedoms and uh, everyone having rights and um, everyone treating each other with kindness and respect and all these sort of, I just imagine that they're things that you'd be hard pushed to find a human being that says I disagree um, yeah well there was a lot of questions around so I couldn't talk about this when it happened because it would have ruined the story um, but obviously Joel's past caught up with him and as Troy Baker who played Joel said when he gets shot in the leg and he's leaning against the window and he's um, got Abby facing him off and Abby's saying Joel Miller uh, do you know who I am and he's got no idea who she is but uh, Troy Baker said but he does realise this is my past catching up with me all the bad stuff that I've done all the people that I've killed and caused harm to it was inevitable that one day any one of those people's friends relatives whatever could have caught it up caught up and ended up wanting revenge you know your past can eventually catch up with you and so Troy who played uh, Joel was saying that's what was going through my mind at that point that's what was going through Joel's mind at that point that's how he said that's how I played Joel the look I gave of kind of resignation at that moment he didn't know that Abby obviously was the doctor's uh, daughter or anything like that but he knew that this will be someone related to someone from my past from all the bad stuff that I've done that never mind how much I've tried to turn my life around and be good my past has caught up with me finally and this is it um, Yeah, that would be a very interesting uh, plot for something happening. Um, but yeah, so... Yeah, in my head I think, well, would things have turned out differently if somehow Ellie knew before Joel died the reason Abby was there and the reason Abby... She still would have been obviously really distraught if she saw what she saw. Um, but would her thoughts about it have been different if she knew that that's what was going on? Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, anyway, I find it interesting to talk about, especially after certain ones of these uh, episodes, to talk about um, how... Just I don't know to sort of analyse it and talk about how things are going and um, what's going on for the characters and the different perspectives and some of the depth to it rather than it being just a shallow game, which I think is what I like about it. It's not just a shallow game. There's a lot of nuances. Technically, there's no good guys and there's no bad guys. There's just all these people who lead lives and they all do pretty much the same type of behaviours um, and they all think of each other as if they're the innocent one and the others are the ones who are doing those behaviours are the bad people um, which obviously if you can step back you know that isn't true yeah he um I think that probably would have affected him more at that exact moment. 
uh, of him not knowing the impact. I think if he was on his own, he would have been happier. Um, if he was killed with no one else at risk and no one else around, because he would have thought, "Have I bought this? Well, I've bought this trouble here, and who else might get hurt because of me bringing this trouble to town?" Essentially. Um, but yeah, I know that as part two goes on, or part two is in the second half of this game, so from this point onwards, um, there's a lot of stuff that will gradually come out because we know already that we're going through the same days that Ellie has already been through, that we've been through with Ellie. So we know some of what's going to be occurring in terms of events in the environment. Um, and uh, yeah, lots of interesting stuff happens I think um, and I look forward to continuing this with you yep there is that whole you never know what your consequences are going to have that's why I just think you should always attempt to be good and do the best for, for and around everyone and um, then yes, there could be consequences, but at least you know that you always did your best to be a good, decent human being. Um, and that doesn't mean that, you know, because you can be a good, decent human being who, because you're standing up for injustice, draws negative consequences on yourself. Um, but at least you know kind of what, and to be open and authentic and honest. Uh, and if you are going to draw consequences on yourself, it's much easier to deal with them when you do it face to face there and then. Um, but yeah, so I will see you all next week for the next part of this journey uh, of trying to get to the aquarium again. We got to the aquarium. <laughs> we got to the uh, aquarium with um, Ellie. Now we just have to get to the aquarium with Abby. So, yes, I will see you all next week. Thank you for joining me again.